Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and we're going to be doing a pick a card based on who and what is coming towards you next. So before we go ahead and get started, I have prepared five groups for you guys. Started with pile one on the far left, two, three, four, and five. And let's go ahead and get started on one. All right, group one, what is up? Let's go ahead and hop right in. Let's see who and what is coming towards you, shall we? So the two cards that we start off with, these are some pretty busy cards. I love it. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this. Okay, so we start off with this card on the right. There's a coffee bug. There's books. It says there's not only one way you're unique. This is important. Follow the path of the heart. Your differences are not defects, and each person's journey is different. So one thing that I am getting here, group one, I feel like there's going to be help. Help is coming towards you, whether this is someone actually coming towards you, or you just, you know, see an advertisement, or you see, you watch something on YouTube that gives you like a light bulb moment that inspires you, or you're kind of just like, I, I know what to do now. I see you guys very busy once again, and um, I'm getting for one of you, this is going to resonate for one person, someone may gift you a book. On the far left here, we have this other busy picture, it says girl boss, she has another coffee mug, she has her journal open, she has a book open, she has her laptop open. So I do get a sense that you are going to be very busy at this time. For those of you that own your own um, side hustle, business project, whatever it is, I feel like you guys are going to get paid for your services or you guys are just going to start networking with people or people doing this to you, reaching out to you at this time. But I see you guys getting more serious here about what it is that you want and where you want your life to take you at this time which is great so I'm getting an energy what's coming towards you is feeling inspired it's gonna be some sort of spark that gets you motivated again which is really really nice and if this is a person this is someone who's gonna help aid you in getting to where you want to go and I feel like this person is gonna be someone great to work with okay so very lovely energy here. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So let's pull some tarot. Group one. Who is coming towards group one? The Knight of Wands. Okay, so I am seeing a fire sign here. The first thing that came up to my mind about this fire sign is this is someone very fun. So this could be a family member, a friend, this could be a romantic interest, but this is someone you have a lot of fun with. This could also be someone who comes in and out of your life. This does not have to be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but just someone who I feel like um, you have great laughs with, maybe you have great sex with them, whatever it is. This person's coming through pretty hot, they're coming through pretty fast, and if this is your energy, once again, there's some kind of burst of energy that just gets you going again. Let's pull another card. I see you guys really following your passions at this time. And we have the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? So we have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male here. They are showing up in the reverse. This could be someone who is, once again, in and out of your life. Um, this could be someone who needs your help for one scenario that I'm getting. With the King of Cups reverse, this is someone who has a hard time expressing their emotions or maybe they just express them in an unhealthy way. I'm also getting with this combination here though, group one, is that this Cancer Pisces Scorpio could most definitely be a player. So just do be aware of that here. I do get a sense though that you are going to be 
busy with some other kind of energy with things that you were trying to work on so make sure that you are focusing more on yourself at this time and this king of cups reverse could be someone who is a bit manipulative but with the ace of swords i feel like you know that i feel like you have came to some truth about this connection about this person uh, maybe you have cut them off before maybe you have just made things clear to them or I feel like you could be coming to some truth, but what's also coming towards you with that Ace of Swords um, group one is victory. It's success. It's finally finding a way out. Walking away. Okay. So what's coming towards you? Either someone's coming back and you're walking away from them or maybe you know they come back they walk away from you or you come towards them someone's walking away here if you are not dealing with someone then i'm just getting an energy of a period of your life where you felt stumped where you felt like you couldn't find a way out you are finding a way out now group one and this is such good energy i love this let's pull another oracle card we have broken heart in the reverse so i do see you guys healing at this time I want to say your intuition is going to be very strong as well. We have the thinking man in the reverse and we have the queen of coins, woman holding a coin. So we have a lot of characters here, group one. So I feel like there's multiple people coming towards you. This could be parents. This could be teachers. This could be loved ones, romantic interest, family, whatever it is. You guys got a lot of people um, coming towards you. This could be friends as well, but we have... A Cancer Pisces Scorpio we have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn and an Aquarius Libra Gemini but they're all showing up in the reverse here so I want you to be aware of these people this could also be friends as well and I just see you kind of walking away from these people now which is great Okay, group one, let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. Regeneration. Ooh, group one, and we have new life. I love this combo right here. It is so powerful. So, you know, with new life coming out upright, this talks about completely learning a lesson that there's a new chapter opening in your life that's totally going to change you. You're not going to repeat the same lessons, patterns, because you've learned them, because you know what to avoid now. So there is a complete change coming to you. There could also be a Scorpio coming into your life. But group one, I just want to say that, yes, you guys do have multiple people coming towards you. They do not look too good. I feel like you guys have some people that talk bad about you or that manipulate you or that are players in some sense here. But I see you walking away and kind of just leveling up, kind of just getting a burst of energy to um, follow your passions instead of these people or this lower vibration that you were on. But there's most definitely a change coming whether you feel it or recognize it or not. Not for you. And we have peace. So yeah, what's coming towards you is you realizing, group one, that there's some people that are not for you. Or maybe this is a way of being. Maybe this is um, a project. Whatever it is, you are finally putting an end to something. Whereas you guys may have been so afraid to let go of it is you are now coming to some breakthroughs just some enough is enough and kind of just walking away carefree at this moment kind of excited about what's new to come and i feel like there is something pretty exciting coming towards you um group one all right so let's pull some more cards what is coming towards 
Group one, who and what is coming towards group one? Three of swords reversed again, and we have the page of cups. So I do see a water sign coming towards you. Um, this water sign could be coming with an apology. This could be a child as well, or this could just be a love interest. But with the Ten of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords, I'm really seeing you just wanting to end things with this person. Um, but I see you being also very fair when these people do approach you. But there is healing taking place. Any hurts, anxiety, depression, worry, that's all coming to an end. And there's a new energy here that is going to inspire you to just level up and to just push harder. But I do see um, a love offer coming through. Four of Swords reversed, yeah. So with the Four of Swords reversed, you are coming out of a period of, um, once again, coming to the truth about things. Once where you were kind of just trying to gather thoughts, just resting in this isolation period, it's like you've gained all the clarity that you needed, whether you realize it or not, and there's you're just coming out of it now, which is brilliant. This is great. So let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. Let's fix these cards. Sorry, I keep on like fixing them. All right, so we have the Four of Swords coming out again, but it's upright this time. So yeah, I'm seeing you guys kind of just very much isolated. Basing things on the truth just wanting to be alone at this time. We'll move these over here. I see you guys recovering. You know, I like how we go from the three of swords to the four of swords. High Priestess, ooh, and the Seven of Swords to the Two of Cups in the reverse. Your intuition's gonna be so strong, Group One, about people who are manipulating you, lying to you, who are doing stuff behind your back. Your intuition's gonna be on point. I'm also getting there's a Pisces around you who may be coming towards you, who is, um, they don't look too good. We have the Seven of Swords right underneath it so this Pisces could be trying to either get some info on you or they're just trying to test you in some kind of way but I feel like there's secrets that this person has or they're just very secretive there's a Pisces coming towards you that does not look very good and your intuition knows what's up group one so listen to it and just focus on yourself. Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, so I'm saying you guys really just kind of avoid these people. And this is definitely someone who has caused um, a bit of drama in your life where you just felt like this is what they bring. But I, I love it though, group one, because it's kind of like enough is enough kind of energy here. I do see you kind of being fair with this person, but only kind of just when it's necessary. I see you guys really just laying low and observing people at this time. And you know who's for you and you know who is not. So there is a change going on and there's a strong water sign male and a water sign female who could be coming towards you. We have a Pisces and a Scorpio. Okay. And we have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And a fire sign here. We also have this King of Pentacles here. So a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be Virgo with the lovers. Um, I feel like this is someone who is attracted to you. This is someone who wants to invest 
in you with the King of Pentacles to the lovers. But with the Ace of Swords here, you are also coming to the truth about this person. I feel like you guys do care about each other, but you guys just kind of know um, the truth about this connection. I'm not sure if things are going to progress, but there is definitely just some uh, clarity about it. But we have strong Virgo and a strong Gemini. Wow, group one. You guys are not playing. Group one, thank you guys so freaking much for watching. Leave a little teardrop emoji or an umbrella emoji if this resonated in any kind of way. Thank you so much, group one, and we're gonna move to group two. Hey, group two, what is up? Let's hop right in it and see who and what is coming towards you. So we have two cards to start off with. And let me go ahead and just zoom in here for you guys. Okay, so the two cards that we have on the starting with the left one is you only fail when you don't try, when you don't dare to try. And we have um, this picture of tarot cards and candles. So with the tarot cards here, I feel like if you guys were waiting for a tarot card reading that is coming towards you, Someone may offer you this, or you guys just may start to get more involved into tarot here, okay? I'm also getting a sense that some of you guys um, are predicting things, and I do get a sense that it, is, that it is going to happen. I'm also getting with the tarot cards that your guys' um, psychic abilities and your intuition is so going to be on point, group two. Okay, so I definitely see you guys in a more mystical, psychic kind of energy here. And anybody your intuition is talking to you about, trust it, okay? When you have, you only fail when you, only fail when you don't dare to try. Um, you guys may have some fears when it comes to getting involved with someone. So there may be somebody who comes towards you and you're just kind of, weary whether or not you should give this person a shot, whether you should collaborate with this person, or whether you should, um, whatever it is here, I'm just getting an energy of an opportunity being presented to you for some of you, and there's some fears around it. So with the tarot cards also, I feel like, you know, this, I'm not saying you have to go get a tarot reading, but tarot is really good at helping you see things from different perspectives so this is probably what you you know would be great help for you so this could be a friend coming through with the reading for you or just kind of making you see from a different perspective here all right so great let's go ahead and pull some more cards Let's pull some tarot. <clears throat> I'm also getting here, um, if you guys read tarot, for some of you, you are going to get paid for your services. Who is coming towards... Group two, who is coming towards group two? So we have the Eight of Cups. So I like to resonate the Eight of Cups with Scorpio. I feel like there's a Scorpio coming back to you here. This is someone that you walked away from. Maybe they walked away from you. I'm also getting when this person comes back, they may leave or, you know, you just finally had enough here, but someone does not want to work on the connection. Someone's tired of giving too much. You know, if this is all your energy with the Eight of Cups, I'm seeing you wanting to, or you are making some changes in your life. You are really leaving behind things that don't fulfill you. And you guys are on a journey right now. This could also just be in regards to life. It doesn't just have to be with people or jobs. Maybe, you know, you guys are stuck or feeling stuck with where you're at and you're kind of just upgrading now. There's definitely a change that is coming towards you or you are in the midst of it now so I definitely do get a sense um the full moon 
I don't know if there's a full or a new moon coming up, is um, going to be great for helping you manifest, um, closing out things and bringing new things in. The lovers in the reverse, and we have the fool card, so there is a strong Gemini and a strong Aries that is coming towards you. Um, this Gemini is showing up in the reverse, so I feel like this is someone who you probably have made some bad decisions with, or maybe they have manipulated you in some kind of way with the lovers. This could also be someone who was a lover of yours and you guys have split. Maybe they come back and you end up leaving or vice versa here, whatever it is. But two people are not seeing eye to eye. Someone here is not fulfilled. Someone here does not want um, this connection. I'm also getting, once again, in regards to life. Maybe when you have made some bad decisions and you're kind of just transitioning to a new phase in your life now. And you guys are finally wanting to try something new. Yeah, with the full card, you guys are on a journey. You guys are um, going somewhere new, taking a risk. And with the full card, once again, this could be an Aries who is coming um, to take a chance on you. But I do get a, a bit of sense of melancholy group too. A bit of sense of depression. But still a lot of courage coming through. Group 2. Who is coming towards group 2? But we do have a strong Gemini. That's coming towards you. Rest and rejuvenation. I'm getting strong Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio once again. But with rest and rejuvenation here, wow, what was I saying? We have journey. So you guys are definitely on a journey. But with rest and rejuvenation here, you guys are really um, figuring out what you want. And I feel like you guys are finally going to get a break from people or from life. And this feels definitely spiritual group two. This decision that you are making to leave behind a certain way of being or a certain person, this is all divinely led. Okay, with the lovers here, this could most definitely have been a soulmate twin flame connection that is broken but I'm seeing you guys finally get some rest and peace rest and rejuvenation is card number 19 19 comes down to a 10 10 is all about endings so group two who is coming towards group two? This could also be a yoga instructor. This could be a Reiki healer coming towards you. I'm getting chiropractor. I'm not sure. Okay, blossoming abundance. So there is growth happening here. For some of you, there is actual money that's coming towards you. Um, some of you guys garden. You're going to start reaping your rewards. Whatever you guys have been planting seeds this could literally just be for a business or this could be you working on yourself you guys are gonna finally start seeing some results you guys are growing at this time you are expanding and i see you guys getting more into your self-care getting more into doing the things that bring you peace and joy and that i feel like you guys just want to bring in things that align with you now brilliant Let's move this a little bit. Okay, let's pull some more oracles. Who is coming towards group two? A change in the wind in the reverse. And we have new life, yeah, so... You guys are bringing in new things. You guys are closing out old things. With the change in the wind, this literally talks about change going on here. This is card number 12, which comes down to a three once again, which is about growth. 
it's about change and I feel like you guys just now want to get more grounded within yourselves grounded and stable within your lives to be fair in the reverse so we have a Libra showing up here this Libra is showing up in the reverse but yeah there was definitely some things in your life or some people in your life group too that made you feel uneasy that was not really putting you on the right path and you're starting to recognize that now and you guys are in a spot now to where you are kind of just accepting the situation for how it is and kind of just moving on what's coming towards you is happiness this could also be someone who whoever it is once again, we have a lot of air signs here. We have a Libra, Gemini, but whoever it is, there's someone here with happy, happy that, you know, could be a friend who makes you laugh a lot, whatever it is. But I'm getting that this is your energy of acceptance, of feeling happy, feeling aligned with what is coming towards you or with what you are now moving towards. So let's pull some more tarot. Um, with to be fair, this could also be something to do with the legal system, something to do um, in the court. We have judgment in the reverse. So we have a strong Sagittarius here. Could also be a Scorpio. But with judgment here, there, you know, life is now calling you to really step in your power at this time. I'm also getting you guys could be dealing with someone who could be definitely judgmental of you here. It could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who is coming towards you. Wow. So with this Aries Leo Sagittarius, we have a strong Sagittarius. They could be a Pisces as well. Sagittarius and Pisces do kind of share the same planet. Well, Pisces used to be ruled by Jupiter. It moved into Neptune. Um, but we have strong Sag Pisces here. This person could be judgmental of you. And if that does not resonate, then I'm getting here, then there is an, someone, either a Pisces or a fire sign, who is coming through pretty hot. I feel like this person definitely has secret feelings for you here. They're kind of looking at you and um, they see you as the empress. They see you as beautiful. Card number three, once again, which is all about growth. It's all about abundance, expansion here. And this person is most definitely attracted to you and i feel like you could most definitely be re preserving yourself kind of just watching this person or maybe this person is observing you at this time but i'm also getting you know with this combination if this is all you group two there's an energy of you initiating change in your life with the empress you are glowing up you are wanting to grow and with the um, high priestess here you have learned a lot of wisdom you are getting a lot of wisdom right now and you are most definitely being led by your intuition there could also be a mother figure who is um coming towards you but we do have a strong sagittarius here you know King of Wands to Judgment Reverse. I'm also getting, once again, you guys are initiating change. You guys are not wanting to go back to the past here. Knight of Wands. Yeah, there is most definitely a fire sign going to come through with some sort of message here with the Knight of Wands. This could be someone who is in and out of your life. Or this could be someone, you know, whether it's a friend or maybe a past lover. You guys shared a lot of very passionate, fun, exciting moments together. 
and I feel like this person is coming back or this could be someone new but with the eight of wands they are most definitely going to send you a message group two okay so who is coming towards group two once again if this is your energy with the knight of wands then just an energy of um feeling renewed passion for life following your creativity and we end with the seven of swords i do not like to see this combo together you guys could be dealing with someone who is a player but the seven of swords there's someone around you who has secrets there's someone around you who is coming towards you that is manipulative or they just have some sort of agenda here so be wary of these people listen to your intuition because people know that you are growing right now people know that you are leveling up group two Group two, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a little crystal ball emoji if this resonated. If you guys made it this far, thanks so much. And we're going to move on to group three now. Hey, group three. Okay, we made it. Let's go ahead and hop right in and see who and what is coming towards you, shall we? So let me go ahead and zoom into these cards here. So we have starting on the right, you know what to do, just listen to your heart. And on the left, we have direction is more important than speed. Okay, group three. So there may be people coming towards you to where you kind of know how to handle them. Okay, if you know they're toxic, if you know they're just a friend, whatever it is, you know what to do. And you could be someone who is just very nice you do not have to be here but overall group three i just see you guys getting very straight very sharp about people that come to you decisions that come to you here direction is more important than speed so i'm really getting put intention behind your words and to really follow through with them here do not confuse anybody do not lead people on and do things with purpose do things with integrity here and i feel like that is what you guys are going to do you guys know what to do also this could be in regards to work projects career money your intuition is guiding you right now to possibly change things up or to take a leap of faith but there just may be some worries maybe you guys need to switch up your strategies whatever it is also, um, to create plans for yourself, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm not trying to, you know, tell you guys what to do or mentor you. Well, I guess I kind of am. This is Tarot, right? <laughs> you don't have to listen if you don't want to. But I'm just getting here. There is definitely going, once again, people and decisions that you really have to make some sort of judgment call on. Does this serve a good purpose for everybody involved does this help you grow okay so let's go ahead and pull some cards so let's pull some tarot coming towards group three ace of cups in the reverse and we have the king of pentacles with the hierophant in the back so there's a strong taurus coming towards you maybe this taurus has rejected you or maybe you have rejected this person but what's coming towards you is someone not following through with a love offer here Okay, but we do have a strong Taurus that may be coming towards you. Okay, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So what I want to say with the Two of Pentacles group three is you guys can most definitely have options. And it's quite funny because with the Two of Pentacles, this is a card of being weary, of having options, not knowing which one to choose. And then we have you know what to do, just listen to your heart. So the need for you to handle decisions 
very carefully and with good judgment and you know the mindset of you know is this good for me does this provide growth does this provide what I need do not accept people in situations just to be nice or just you know out of spite here really think about the people you are surrounded with or that you want to surround yourself with here okay but I'm, I'm getting a lot of decisions happening here interesting okay let's pull some oracle cards We have cornucopia in the reverse, so, hmm, what I'm getting here, group three, is that you guys are most definitely going to have a lot of options coming towards you, but they just may not be the options that you want, or you, or um, another scenario that I am getting is that you guys are going to be granted some kind of money some kind of gifts or just um a place where you are being invited to or where you where you're at right now but with cornucopia in the reverse this talks about um not really seeing things for what they are so kind of like a lack mindset here kind of apathetic with your options in life or in love I'm gonna move this over here. Okay. So we have yin and yang. So with this card coming out upright, this talks about the yin aspect. It talks about the aspect of just being chill, being open to receive, going with the flow. So I feel like that energy is coming towards you or that you need to be in at this time when it comes to making these decisions when it comes to um, seeing things for how they are and I feel like you guys are kind of getting a little bit of what you want or you guys have accumulated um, some things in your life but just not really seeing seeing it for how it is We have the fourth chakra in the reverse. Yeah, and we have patience. So a lot of going with the flow, a lot of thinking before you step. Um, fourth chakra, this is the heart chakra. So there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is coming towards you, specifically a male. But I'm also getting that your heart chakra is blocked. It's blocked in regards to receiving love. So yeah group three there's gonna be options or a person that comes towards you but i feel like it's not really gonna be what you want but i feel like to give this person a chance i'm just getting here that maybe you guys have been hurt in the past or it's just someone that you don't want okay so you know with just listen to your heart with yin and yang with patience to really think about this to really um go with the flow and I'm not saying you have to take up this person maybe you guys just need healing at this time instead of um, actually hopping into something new even if you guys have not been out on a date or in a relationship in years or in months there's something here to where you you need a lot of healing I mean we all do but this is definitely the vibe the energy that I am getting There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is a bit manipulative too. Okay, so let's pull some more Oracle cards. Who is coming towards Group 
mystery. Poised. Ooh, okay. So with poised, I feel like there's going to be someone who comes towards you that is a great person. This is someone very confident, but it's not cocky. It's just, they're a very bright energy. They're very fun to be around. I feel like this is someone very attractive. They do not have to be, but their energy is just so attractive, okay? Um, if this is your energy, then you're going to be looking so fine, group three, okay? You're going to be looking like a dime piece here. You're also just going to be shining, and that's why you're going to have so many options flocking to you. And Poise talks about being ready, but there's also an energy of feeling like you're not ready. Truth be told, so we have a strong Libra here who could be coming towards you. This person does want to co-create with you. I'm, I'm also getting for some of you, um, you have a child with this person. But I feel like there's some truths that are coming out about you. And I feel like it's you finding this about yourself. Or maybe you're finding out about somebody else about a situation here. Therefore an offer being rejected. But I'm just seeing that you guys are really going to start coming to the truth about these people that you surround yourself with or these decisions that you make at this time. I'm going to drink some coffee, excuse me. So let's pull some tarot. Who is coming towards group three? The Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands has showed up in group one and in group two. The Knight of Wands is also known as a player. <laughs> so it makes sense he's in everybody's reading so far. So I'm getting player vibes from this person. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be someone who's not a player. This is, you know, the Knight of Wands and Aries Leo Sagittarius. They're fun. They're confident. They're funny. They're charming. They're daring. They're very attractive here. I feel like this could be a friend or someone new or someone you was a lover beforehand. Someone that you shared some really fun, passionate times with. That could be coming towards you. Also, if this is your energy, group three, you guys could be in a player energy. Or you guys just could be in an energy that doesn't really want to be tied down right now. Maybe you're kind of just... um enjoying life just not wanting to settle down at this time kind of just doing you the ten of wands in the reverse so i'm getting you know it, it ties in perfectly with the knight of wands next to the ten of wands reverse because i'm seeing if you have been dealing with people to where it's just been stressful for you, you felt like you've been carrying them or you felt like, you know, all the responsibilities of this connection or these, whatever it is in life, that's all coming to an end now. I see you dropping the baggage with this person, dropping the baggage on some things you are getting clear about in your life and kind of just doing you with the Knight of Wands here. I'm also getting there's a fire sign who does not want to end things with you. Okay, let me push this back a little bit and we'll pull some more cards. So group three. Who is coming towards group three? We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the High Priestess so there could be a Pisces who is coming towards you or a Capricorn or maybe there's just a toxic connection where there has been a lot of secrets or you know with the Pisces or a Capricorn once again but with the Ten of Pentacles there's an ending um, that is coming towards you. I'm also getting group three that there could be I'm getting a strong female could be a male as well this is someone very financially stable they own their own home, they have pets, 
Um, they could have kids, but I'm seeing this person mainly single, but they have accumulated a lot in their lives. Their bank account could also look very nice as well, and that could be someone who is coming towards you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, so we have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who is moving very, very slowly towards you, um, group three, okay? So this person is not going to be like this fire sign, this Knight of Pentacles is in it to win it. And yes, we do have the Seven of Swords though, which strikes. So um, if there's a Leo that comes towards you, this Leo does not look good at all. And let's pull one more card. The Hierophant. So we have a strong Taurus here. Um, this could have been someone that wants a marriage with you they want to marry you maybe they want a connection with you this is someone whoever this Taurus is they want something stable and traditional with you this person definitely wants a family with you look at Knight of Pentacles Ten of Pentacles the Hierophant some of you guys are getting proposed to group three okay which is lovely so group three if this resonated, if you guys made it this far, leave a little sparkle emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to move on to group four now. Hey, group four, welcome. We made it. Let's go ahead and hop right in and see who and what is coming towards you. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on these energies, these cards. So I love it. I love it so much. So we have don't fuck with my energy and we have take what you need. So with take what you need, you know, it says peace, a nap, a hug. But the one that she's grabbing is cash. So I don't know if you guys are approaching this person, but I feel like this is someone who could be a bit pissed off at you. And the roles can be reversed here. Maybe this person is coming towards you. Maybe this is someone that you don't want to associate yourself with. But I'm really seeing that you are just not wanting to deal with this person. You're not wanting to deal with these players. You're being very selective with who you let in at this time. And I'm just seeing you guys very much focused on your money, your bag, your coin, your self-care, your inner wealth, and looking good at the same time. So I see you guys very fiery at this time and just really not settling for less. Okay, I'm also getting here that you guys may make yourselves very apparent to these people that are bothering you. And if not, then when these people come in group four, it's like you're going to be in this energy of don't fuck with my energy. Now you may not give off this vibe, you may not... Uh, show people or tell people how you're feeling but it's kind of just like something's gonna go off in your head to where you're like okay I need to keep this short clean straight to the chase and you're only taking what you need and I feel like that's just um, work workflow all right so let's go ahead and get into your reading All right, let's move this a little bit and we'll go ahead and start with some tarot. So who is coming towards group four? Who is coming towards group four? The Eight of Cups, and we have the Chariot, okay? And we have the Empress, so there could be a mother figure who is coming towards you. There could also be a Cancer who is coming towards you. But with the Eight of Cups here, this could also be a Scorpio. This is someone that you, are, you had walked away from. Maybe this person has walked away from you. But someone here is going to walk away or has. They did not feel... Like they were getting what they wanted here with the Eight of Cups. Could be a Leo as well. Okay, 
Okay, let's pull another card. Who is coming towards group four? The five of swords in the reverse with the three of swords reverse. So this was definitely someone that you have had some um, difficulties with, some arguments with. Maybe you, there was just a lot of drama, a lot of pettiness, a lot of hurts that went down in this connection here. But I'm getting someone here does not want to fight anymore. Someone here just wants to just move on. It's not what they want. It's not what they resonate with. And someone here just wants to heal. This could also be someone that you have healed from finally. And they're coming back. If this is not a person and this is more of an energy, then I'm seeing you guys really leave a part of your life or maybe a job, maybe um, a friendship, family, whatever it is to where you felt defeated. You felt like um, people were just trying to one up you or you were kind of just shooting your own self in the foot. It's you're finally realizing that it's time to level up. It's time to leave behind these things and to move on. Some of you guys are actually moving. But you guys are just getting very sharp about who you want to surround yourselves with and where you want to go next. I'm also seeing with the Eight of Cups, there is some melancholy, there is some depression playing out here as well. So let's see, who is coming towards Group 4? Patience in the reverse. So I got a strong Sagittarius. Um, but I'm seeing you run out of patience. Group 4. Okay, this is someone who may have run out of time with you. But this is definitely... Who is coming towards you, Group 4, is someone that has definitely pissed you off. And, you know, it's kind of like you're finally done with these people or this person or this job or this way of living whatever it is you have ran out of patience and you're kind of just very sharp now you're only giving your energy to things that align with you in the best way all right so let's pull another oracle card attachment in the reverse so um there could be a capricorn does not have to be a capricorn but this is someone you have detached from this is someone you have released yourselves from this could also be drugs this could be someone who got you into drugs um once again a way of living a way of being but you are starting to free yourselves however this resonates group four this is fantastic and this is card number five. Five is all about change. We have another five here. We have eight. Eight is, you know, with the eight of cups, this makes me think this is like a very transformative card. So I'm getting there's a lot of change here. There's a lot of new boundaries that you are having with yourselves. And I feel like this person either senses that, they see that, they know that. And they're coming back and we have this strong card here don't fuck with my energy so i'm seeing you be very strict once again i'm sorry i keep on repeating that all right let's pull some more oracle cards who is coming towards group four so yeah strong capricorn i also saw that cancer card but with the chariot, you are overcoming these difficulties. And with the chariot, you're coming out on top. Even if you felt like you lost, the chariot talks about overcoming difficulties regardless. By the book. 
Yeah, I feel like you guys could be getting more into the law of attraction, getting more into um, manifesting things at this time. You guys could be seeing 11-11 a lot. I'm also getting something with family or you guys are um, moving to cultures or people, your soul tribe that resonate with you more. I'm also getting if this is this person, this is someone who you used to be linked with. I'm also getting this could be family members as well. This could be a mother, father, sister, cousin, whatever it is, auntie, uncle who may be coming forward. And I feel like they're going to bring you some kind of information with by the book. But I'm seeing you in an energy group for with by the book of just wanting to do things right. coming towards group four this is definitely someone who can't get over you higher power wow wow group four so yeah you are stepping into your divine power you are stepping into your higher power now and i feel like you guys are starting to wake up um, either about this connection, but I feel like it's more deeper than that with this card showing up here with higher power You guys are finding a way out. You guys are leveling up. You guys are glowing up. You guys are changing You guys are transforming you guys are not shooting your own selves and sabotaging yourself anymore And just being very strict not only with other people but with yourself in a sense too Wanting to do things right now wanting to get right there's a keyhole on her third eye, so yeah, you guys are waking up now. You know, we not only go through one transformation in life, we go through many transformations, so this could be another one that you guys are um, going through right now. So let's pull some tarot. Who is coming towards group four? Queen of Pentacles and we have the Empress and we have the King of Wands and I'm seeing Sagittarius I'm seeing Aries here as well Wow we got a lot of people Taurus Virgo Capricorn we got a Libra or a mother figure strong Taurus as well we have an a strong Leo showing up here and um, Aquarius Libra Gemini with the Queen of Pentacles, you are definitely focused once again on your bag, your money, your kids, your home, your stability, surrounding yourself with things and plants that nourish you, that help you grow at this time. And this person sees that. They see you growing. They see you just doing you. And they kind of don't like that. They want to come in and kind of just disturb you, which is why we have this don't fuck with my energy. King of Swords. So yeah, we have a strong Aquarius Libra Gemini. This could be someone, you know, this is someone who is a great leader with the King of Swords. Um, hear me out first. King of Swords is someone who could help you see things clearly, help you see things from different perspectives. This could be a lawyer. This could be a teacher. This is just somebody here. It could be a family member. Whoever it is, they are someone who is um, gonna give you straight facts. They may not you know be sensitive or very empathetic but this is someone who is very truthful very honest and will give you answers okay they may come up a bit stubborn as well so this could be you know someone at work once again a family member or just some kind of boss some kind of leader here if this is your energy or i'm getting if this is someone else this could be someone who is pissed off at you Another thing that I'm getting is that if this is your energy, you know, with the air element and the earth element, I'm seeing you be very, very real, group four. Very real about yourself, these people that are coming back. You're not playing any games here. I 
I'm seeing you now just very much two steps ahead. Um, group four, if you are moving towards someone, if you're moving towards this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this person's going to be very sharp with you. They will hear you out. I'm not sure if they're going to respond though, or if they're going to um, take things further with you, but they're going to be very honest. We have the seven of wands in the reverse. So who's coming towards you? This is someone who has very loose boundaries. Or this is someone who has most definitely just caused some drama for you here. This is someone who has definitely tested your boundaries. The Knight of Pentacles. So we have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I feel like this is a different person. This Taurus Virgo Capricorn is someone who is in it for the long haul. This is someone who is in it to win it, but they are going to move so freaking slow. Okay, they take their time. So yeah, we have a strong earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm getting male and female. And an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, group four. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching. Leave a little diamond emoji if this resonated, if you guys made it this far. And I'm going to move on to group five now. Group five, we made it. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and figure out who and what is coming towards you, shall we? So let's go ahead and zoom in these cards. And let's get started. So... The right card says pay me, the left card here says reminder. It's okay to have bad days, but keep in mind that they will pass, so don't let them bring you down. So we have quite opposing energies here. With the left card, I'm getting that this is someone who may have gotten on your bad side, or this is someone who could have some kind of depression, um, whatever it is, but I'm getting there's someone here who's coming back who has regrets, maybe they have let you down let you down in some sort of way and they kind of see you glowing up at this time with pay me on the right side you know she looks very confident she looks very much like money is time time is money and you kind of just shading the haters you can't see the haters at this time so i feel like you completely switched your energy with this person and they're coming back because they, they feel guilty. They feel like they have wronged you. And they're missing you at this time. They're seeing you kind of just win. Okay? This could be someone who owes you money. I'm also getting there's someone coming towards you who maybe you owe them money or they owe you money. I'm also getting some of you guys own your own businesses, side hustle, things like that. And there could be people buying your products, buying your services at this time. I'm also getting, you know, if this is just an, your energy, an energy that's coming towards you, group five, then, you know, once again, opposing energies, but I like to see pay me here also because there's an energy of you bouncing back. There's an energy of whether this was a person, a way of living, a way of being, a job. There was something here to where you had some bad days. Maybe think your best character did not show out or you just did not make the best decisions that resulted into some failures, some loss, some regrets. But then we have Pay Me and she just looks so confident. So I see you bouncing back. I'm seeing you know your worth at this time. I'm seeing you really applying... Um, what you have learned and just moving forward here just very unbothered okay so great energy let's go ahead and get into it shall we so let's go ahead and pull some tarot So group five, who and what is coming towards group five? 
All right, so we have a card fly right out. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So this could have been someone you rejected. This was someone that has rejected you. Once again, Group 5, if this is just an energy with the Four of Cups, then I'm seeing you guys really, um, once where you were kind of apathetic with life or with your choices in love, whatever it is, you guys are finding a way out now. And you guys are really taking action to get yourself out of this funk, to get yourself out of this place or this energy that you were just not happy with. We also have the devil here, so there could be a Capricorn coming towards you or just some sort of toxic connection. But with both these cards showing up in the reverse, there's some kind of release also from these attachments here. The devil doesn't have to be a Capricorn or a love interest. This is anything we um, overindulge and we obsess with. This could be drugs. This could be too much of Candy Crush. I'm not sure you know what I mean. It could be anything that was just excessive here that was just not good, right? So those bad days are coming to an end now. King of Swords. Oof. Excuse me. I do not like the King of Swords in the reverse. He's, he's scary. So we have an Aquarius Libra Gemini who could be coming towards you this person is very manipulative this person could also be a bit crazy this person has lied and this person will just say things to hurt you okay or this could have been your energy group five where your integrity was not really intact and thus led you to this four of cups kind of lifestyle or way of being whatever it is you guys are coming out of that now so however this resonates the roles can be reversed i'm gonna drink some coffee i've been talking for like over an hour straight okay no more coffee so let's pull some oracle cards who and what is coming towards group five who and what is coming towards group five? Financial constraints in the reverse, and we have yin and yang. So um, I'm getting either a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Could be a Cancer as well. With financial constraints in the reverse, this could have been someone who left you out in the cold. This could have been someone who really talked down on you or who made you feel less than. Um, if this is not this person, once again, if this is an energy, then what is coming towards you <clears throat> is feelings of worthiness, not feeling so low. I'm also getting that your finances are so improving at this time as well. Some of you guys may actually come up on some money. Let's pull another... Oracle card, we have two fours here, 13 comes down to a four, four of cups, so we do have a strong cancer, but I feel like you are just more focused on your security now, your stability, feeling grounded, we did have yin and yang, the card upright talks about the yin aspect being grounded, being receptive, being chill, being go with the flow, ooh, okay, seventh chakra, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male, they are showing up in the reverse, though. But the seventh chakra, I feel like there could be a tarot reader who is coming towards you, a Reiki healer. Um, there's some kind of spiritual person that's coming towards you, group five. Or this could be your energy here with the seventh chakra to where you are receiving downloads from spirit from the universe from your guides whatever you believe in i'm getting like a akashic records but she's holding the book here and i feel like you guys have accumulated a lot of wisdom or once again you are being granted this at this time but i feel like your intuition is going to be on point your crown chakra is going to be on point as well and um you're really going to start applying what you have learned 
um, when these people do come back, when these situations do pop up again. So let's go ahead and pull some more oracle cards. Move this a little bit. <clears throat> My throat is so dry. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So who and what is coming towards group five? Time to go in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone who cannot let you go. This is someone who has a hard time walking away from you. They see you as a good person, though. They see you as blessed. Maybe they see you as someone who um, is just really nice that they could manipulate. If this is one specific person. You know, they don't have to be manipulative, but there is definitely someone here who is coming back. They can't let you go. Truth be told, ooh, and we have soulmates, so what I'm getting here, group five, there is someone you have most definitely shared a connection with that was very toxic, that really brought you down to your knees. Once again, this could be a, a way of living, it does not have to be a person, but now you are finally seeing the truth about this person, about this situation with truth be told, the mask is falling off. Your mask is falling off. Your crown chakra is popping. You're knowing your worth at this time. Nobody can, nobody's taking that away from you right now. You're leveling up group five. This person notices that. You know, we have soulmates in the reverse. So this most definitely could have been a soulmate twin flame. Does not have to be. But with this card showing up in the reverse, it talks about a series of events or specific people that come into our lives to specifically teach us things. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Group five. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the Four of Cups. So yeah, once again, this person could have rejected you or when this person does come back, I feel like you're going to reject them. This is someone who is not giving you what you want. This was someone who was not stable, someone you could not grow with. Justice and the Six of Wands reverse. So you did not feel appreciated by this person. This is someone whose pride and ego is in the way as well. This could be someone you have been to court with. Once again, it could be a Libra as well, but they were just very unfair. They were not leading you down the right path here. Also, I'm getting issues in regards to the legal system, the court, whatever it is. I'm seeing some difficulties with that going on. Okay, let's pull some more cards. Who is coming towards group five? Oops, sorry about that. But we do have a strong Libra, a very strong Libra coming out here. The world card in the reverse. So yeah, there's this is somebody you have ended things with. Maybe they ended things with you, but I'm getting this person does not want to end things. They do not want to close out this cycle with you. The Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, with the Ace of Swords, this, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, they're obsessing over you, Group 5. They see you glowing up. They see you just very confident in yourselves. The Nine of Pentacles is like the, kind of like the Empress card. You're kind of just doing battle by yourself. You're very independent. You're single at this time. You're enjoying you. You're also looking very, very attractive, Group 5. 
and this person kind of wants to come back and manipulate you they kind of want to come back and distract you but with the ace of swords you found them out you know what to do you're coming to the truth about them now with the ace of swords and there's a final decision being made here it's like you're finally starting to get yourself right and this person can't stand it but let me say group five you are going to be looking very attractive at this time very beautiful the tower in the reverse so yeah you are most definitely going to be dodging a bullet group five let me tell you you are dodging a bullet um the tower reverse also signifies someone rebuilding so they see you rebuilding yourselves into something more beautiful something more stable something more solid and with the knight of wands this person's a player this person is someone who is constantly in and out of your life the page of wands in the reverse there is most definitely an offer being rejected here and with the page of wands this is someone immature they're offering something they're offering something small it's a page the page of wands to me is also someone who just wants sex so i'm seeing you just really not take it up so group five you know what to do the hermit we have a strong virgo here but i'm getting that this is your energy group five with the hermit to the six of swords i'm seeing you just really uninterested in this person you are so uninterested with it you're kind of just wanting to hide you're wanting to just um isolate yourself from this person and just move on to calmer waters now all right so group five leave a little fire emoji if this resonated if you guys made it this far thank you guys so freaking much for watching and i will see you in my next pick a card bye